Welcome back to Mr. Menta's ELL Classroom. Today we're going to be continuing talking about Chapter 3 of the Red Book, which uses a lot of nouns and a lot of food in particular. So, to complete this lesson, you're going to need this page from your textbook, page 23. You can find that in the YouTube description. You do not need to print it. And this page from your activity book, page 25. This page you do need to print. You will also need a separate sheet of paper. So, let's get started. And this one, you can see here, we have some people ordering food at a restaurant. Okay? At the top it says, what would you like? And now we have two people talking. He says, what would you like for dessert? You know dessert, right? Dessert. And we have like the cake, the ice cream at the end of the meal. You know dessert. I can't decide. What do you recommend? I recommend our chocolate ice cream. Everybody says it's delicious. Okay. Please give me a dish of chocolate ice cream. And here we've got a great word, recommend. Recommend. Recommend means to tell someone to do something. I think you should do this. That's to recommend. I think this is very good. You should try it. That's recommend. Okay? So we're going to use that word a lot in this chapter. Recommend. Next one. Again, at a restaurant, looks like a diner. What would you like for breakfast? I can't decide. What do you recommend? I recommend our scrambled eggs. Everybody says they're out of this world. Okay, please give me an order of scrambled eggs. Okay. You know scrambled, right? Scrambled is when you... We have scrambled sentences. You know scrambled. Okay, so next, if you notice down here, they got this little asterisk. So I'm going to zoom in and make that as big as I can. I'll zoom in farther. Okay. All right, so we got all these words here. We have delicious, very good, excellent. Wonderful, fantastic, magnificent, out of this world. Those are all synonyms. So those all mean about the same thing. They all mean very good. So again, I'll go by them again. That's delicious means the same thing as very good, means the same thing as excellent, means the same thing as wonderful, means the same thing as fantastic, means the same thing as magnificent, means the same thing as out of this world. Those are all pretty much the same word, okay? So if you ever heard any of those words and you weren't sure what they meant, they mean really good, okay? All right, so now we are going to practice creating some of these conversations, okay? So, like I said, in the advanced class, we get a lot of writing practice, so we're going to write these down. So, over here, this would be, what would you like for lunch? I can't decide. What do you recommend? I recommend a bowl of chicken soup. Everybody says it's... Uh, excellent. Okay? Okay, please give me a bowl of chicken soup. Okay? Alright, so pay attention to uh, which of these words you use. I want you to use every one of these words once. Okay? Get some practice writing. Uh, tell you what just to make it a little less repetitive, you can start out here, all right? Because I don't want you to write the same thing over and over again. I want you to practice writing different things. 
So right, I recommend our pancakes. Everybody says there, and then use one of these words, okay? So start here, just write these two lines. Write these two lines. For each one of these, make sure you use each one of these words one time, okay? That's what we're gonna do to practice. So this is some good writing practice, all right? So pause the video and write your sentences, okay? I'll wait. I'll have some coffee while I wait. All right, did you write your sentences? Great. So, picking up here, uh, I left off on number two, we'll start at the beginning. I recommend our pancakes. Everybody says they're excellent. Okay, please give me an order of pancakes. Notice also, we're using the word an because it's before a word with a vowel. Remember a and an? We covered that earlier. Okay. So, I recommend our apple pie. Everybody says it's wonderful. Now, I hope you remember to say it's instead of there because this is singular. Okay? Okay, please give me a piece of apple pie. Okay? I, rep I recommend our milk. Everybody says it's fantastic. Okay, please give me a glass of milk. You getting these? There's a couple of simple mistakes that it's possible to make here if you get distracted. So pay attention. I hope you said it's or there. Okay. Okay. I recommend our strawberries. Everybody says they're magnificent. Okay. Please give me a bowl of strawberries. I recommend our hot chocolate. Everybody says it's out of this world. Okay, please give me a cup of hot chocolate. I recommend our vanilla ice cream. Everybody says it's delicious. Okay, please give me a dish of ice cream. And then this was the blank one, so you could make up your own, although I didn't specifically tell you to do that. I hope you did. How about I recommend our steak. Everybody tells me it's delicious. Okay, I'll have a steak. Something like that. Okay, so that seems pretty straightforward. Let's have a look at the how to say it box. Okay, so again, just a little bit more about recommend, how to say it, making a recommendation about food. Here, just notice, same word, recommend, recommendation, same word. What do you recommend for breakfast? I recommend the pancakes. You could also say, I suggest the pancakes. If you ever hear the word suggest, it means the same thing as recommend. Okay? So we don't need to go over that too many times. We've already used it, but we may as well just give it one more pass. Recommend. I hope everyone's clear on how to use the word recommend now. All right. Now, let's turn over to our activity sheet and fill it in. I think this is... Pretty straightforward. The first one, you read a question and then half of an answer, and then you have to circle the correct answer. There's only two options, circle one or the other. And then the second half, we've got a nice box with words in it here, and you're going to fill in the blanks with the words. So you've done this before, you know how to do it. Okay? All right. So pause the video, get to work, come back to me when you're done. All right, did you pause the video? All right, this, this is a good exercise. This is good practice. Number one, what would you like for breakfast? Please give me an order of scrambled eggs. See, so you had to be paying attention on the last page to know that we don't say an order of cereal. It's mostly just a uh, convention. Number two, what would you like to drink? I want a glass of A. 
milk. We say cup of coffee, not glass of coffee. Number three, what would you like for lunch? I want a bowl of bee soup. Number four, now I hope you're watching, looking at what you did. I hope you're following along. Look over what you wrote, listen to what I say, make sure they match. We're not done, we're still working. Would you care for some dessert? Yes, I'd like a dish of ice cream. A. Number five, what would you like? Please give me a cup of tea. A. Six, what would you like for dessert? I'd like a piece of B, apple pie. Okay, now we're gonna see how well Mr. Menta can handle this. Our bowl, cup, dish, glass, is it many much of order piece of A? Okay. Where would you like to go for lunch? Let's go to Carla's Cafe. Their spaghetti is out of this world and it isn't expensive. I had an order of spaghetti there last week for $1.95. See how an went with order? Because remember, we only use an before a word that starts with a vowel. So order starts with a vowel. That's how we know he didn't have like a dish of spaghetti, because it had an, the word an. So they're, they're being tricky. They're being tricky. But I think we can handle it. I don't really want to go to Carla's Cafe. Their spaghetti is very good, but you can't get any chocolate milk. I like to have a glass of chocolate milk with my lunch. How about Pancake Place? Their pancakes are fantastic, and they aren't expensive. An order of pancakes costs $2.69. Again, we have this word an, and we're using that vowel rule. We only use an before a vowel. An order. Okay. I really don't like the pancake place. The pancakes are tasty, but their salad is terrible. It has too much lettuce and too many onions. Remember much and many? See, they're using stuff from the last chapter, in this chapter. Okay, so I hope you've been paying attention. I hope you're learning. I hope it's all sinking in. I hope so. Because <laughs> if you don't remember it, you didn't really learn it. Uh, anyway, well, how about Rita's Restaurant? Their restaurants are wonderful. You can get a delicious, let's see here. And if you switched bowl and dish, don't worry about that too much. People do that all the time. That's, that's the kind of thing that in real life no one cares about. But in the book, they've been practicing dish of ice cream, bowl of strawberries. So we're going to stick with that. I know, but their hot chocolate is very bad. I like to have a cup of hot chocolate with my dessert. Wait a minute, I know where we can go for lunch. Let's go to your house. That's kind of funny. They ended on a joke. They're like, you don't like any of the restaurants I want to go to? Let's eat at your house. I've heard worse from the book. For the book, that was good. We'll say that. For the book, that was good. Okay. Textbook humor. All right. We're doing a good job on chapter three. I will see you in the next video.